This first game is called Joystick. The student or teacher coordinates the class to go forward, back, left, or right. In this, the students are focusing on transferring of weight, agility, and coordination. Again, student or teacher can demonstrate or teach this class. Second activity I'm gonna show you is just ball taps. This helps individuals get successful attempts at holding and catching the ball. This third activity we're gonna show you is a twist or a spin catch. Spinning the ball up in the air and catching it. Good for basketball and handball. Fourth activity is called the right hand sweep. Notice that they're sweeping left to right and right to left, back and forth with their right hand. This is just a basketball sweep. Fifth activity shown here is ball taps portrayed in volleyball. So this can be done in multiple sports. Sixth activity is around the world. It can be done with a disc as you see here, a ball, a basketball, or a beanbag. The seventh activity is the same skill, but doing this on one foot. So a student actually demonstrated this. The eighth game is called knockout. You're trying to defend your ball and knock the other ball out of the square. If your ball gets knocked out, you simply go into the other square and try again. And then you just go back and forth from one side of the square to the other. Seventh activity is just a throw and catch, getting students successful um, repetitions here, going back and forth with a partner. The eighth activity is called the disc relay. Line students up on a line and push their hula hoops out five feet in front. If they get the disc in the hula hoop, they're allowed to move the hula hoop forward. And so you're trying to see how far they can get their disc through accuracy. And notice that all students are going at the same time. This is important for safety. This also teaches accuracy skills and targeting skills. Students really like that game. The ninth or 10th activity is going to be ball in the middle. You can call this anything you'd like, be creative, but simply ball in the middle, individuals from different groups, run out to the middle and dribble back to their groups. You can have six groups, you can have eight groups, you can have individuals working for themselves. Uh, just depends on how many soccer balls you have. You can do this with basketballs, discs, uh, tennis balls, or volleyballs. Here we have quick feet, just instructing the students to have quick feet, really important for most sports. Our 12th skill here is called figure eight manipulating the ball around the legs our 14th skill here is butt kickers our 15th skill or our 15th game shown in this film is our disc relay and here's a extension of the soccer game where you can now go to other groups and take their soccer balls so notice that everyone's more spread out everyone is communicating uh, notice that you can use or take one or more ball at a time and it's also a good way for uh, providing defense and offensive strategies here we have a volleyball bumping and catching so what you do is you throw the ball to your partner and they bump it and then you catch it five successful attempts and then switch lastly here is yoga this is a sun salutation going through sun salutation a college students are taught how to teach yoga and then they're teaching high school students. Uh, and they're able to read off the poses and read off the coordination of the poses because this really helps both the teacher and the student. You're always thinking about posture. You never wanna guess what to do because somebody can get hurt. So it's really important to have those notes out in front and really uh, have those notes out in front of you so you know exactly what you're trying to teach. Knowing when to inhale and when to exhale in yoga is very important. And so it's okay for teachers to have worksheets or notes to help guide them throughout their instruction. This is Sun Salutation A going through simple, basic yoga postures. And it's really good for the lower back, as you can see, and really good for the legs. It's also good for balance, strength, circulation, 
and hormones and moods. Thank you for watching.